Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Sagittarius, today we'll do your third week of June. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for all, all Sagis. Also, this video starts from the time you view it or from the 16th going till the 23rd. 16th, 23rd week. Let's see here what's the energy here. And again, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs because for some of you, you are very much connected with your Sun Signs. For some of you, you are very much connected with your Moon Sign. Take what resonates, loves. Leave what do not resonate. Let's see here. Today we have the Spirit Animal Oracle for you as a message, as an advice. And of course, we'll see how we can move forward, loves. Sagittarius, this we have today. In this reading, we have number 35, Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan for you, loves. Look at you. Although I feel here you sense there is coming as this koala. It is definitely sensing, but it's something here you're still holding on very tight. Whatever comes to you this week, loves, I feel here be open for new things. Be open for unknown. Also, for many, many of you, you might hold on on an idea. It's kind of try to redirect that thing to something else. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Look how beautiful this rabbit is here. Definitely, I feel here there is somebody here who is very much into that energy like, yes, I can do it, I am lucky, and I can move forward. There's something here in regards to your stability. Yes, number 13 goes to 4, 35 goes to 8. So something here is in regards to your stability in your finances or business. Because number eight speaks us about movement in that field of finances, career. And the number four, as you know, it's all about stability. Let's see here, loves, what we got here for you. If you have something in mind or you trust whatever it's coming to you, I feel here there's a good time to do whatever you have in your mind, whatever you have in your plans. Go forward. There is a lot of communication coming in for you, loves. Eight of Wands wants to jump on, and I will read it as it is. As you know, the Spirit says, always, always pay attention to those cards, especially jumping ones. There is a lot of communication. For some of you, you are more communicative at this time. Also, there is somebody here, my not talk to you for quite a while and now they might open up or they might even want to see you. That's what the spirit says. But let's see here the overall energy for this weekly and how the energy flows here. Five of Swords. Be aware of those that communication like unthink. It's like you're not, not thinking. It's like a, a thing you want to say might hurt the other one. Okay, because I, I'm i not really a big fan of Five of Wands in here. And as you know, in any situation in which two people are fighting or have an argument, both losing. It's better to to have that thing about like, let's see what we can do about it. Let's work on these things. It's not like who is winning and who is losing whatever situation is here, okay? Because, believe it or not, nobody wants to go in that energy, okay? Underneath, we have Queen of Pentacles. Something here is re regards your money or your abundance, your work, okay? So, for some of you, be, be aware what you say at your work or with people who you are working, okay? For some of you, it could be a love interest, but I definitely see here there is something here in regards to finances, money. For some of you, yes, you might deal with an earth sign in here, 
you might communicate with them but I feel here that communication is not very fruitful so this is a very huge red flag let's see here what we got here for you Sagittarius we have four of cups four of swords six of swords five of cups temperance here you are loves you are healing from a past thing here and I feel here the other person also heals and tries to move on but I feel here you're moving healed and glorious the other person is not yet healed the way you are and I feel here you both took a took some time here also whatever was offered to this person was not really great and I feel here they know that they hurt you there is hurt left behind and I don't feel is right now as much hurt as been before but look at you Sag you are so high vibrational right now here you are yes you might move towards a Cancerian or there is somebody here like watery energy there's a lot of emotions left behind there's a lot of you know darkness and definitely spirit has a plan for you and definitely now is a lucky time and look at here the snake spirit time to heal there's a lot of healing here on your side as from the other person although you might hear from somebody from the distance the one who you connect here the Sagittarius I'm talking right now it's like you both are single as we speak right now also both of you try time try to heal from whatever it is could be a third party in the past this person didn't might not accepting it you might get hurt from it but I feel here it's kind of a losing situation because somebody here acted very mature especially it's kind of the power of the words and I feel here whatever happened it was a big break it's like this connection kind of like lose their stuff and this person might live at the distance you might live at the distance but it's kind of moving forward let's see ten of cups could be a twin flame you know this connection was very strong but I feel here there is Sag who who knows moving forward leaving something behind will bring you more more happiness because look at you you're moving towards something new okay all right Sag you might deal with another fire sign water sign we have cancer Pisces and earth energy okay there will be a talk there is some clarity coming here okay could be one of you have a lot of air and I feel here the person you connected could have earth or air you might have water in the chart one of you has a lot of water another one has a lot of air in the chart okay but I feel here that was silence between you two there was a lot of healing and now there is movement okay so whatever was no communication that will be communication there's a lot of messages coming towards a sag here but let's see here why this four of cups could be a third party here and as you see here this person looks towards this three of cups the other one it's kind of this one it's a stubborn person who's like no this is not good for me whatever you offer me is not good the other one knows there is other options but still looks for this three of cups whatever it is here one of you was the third party although when you been together were if was an opportunity for both of you that was happiness there is a lot of energy here still connects you Sag with this person but I feel here my Sagis who I'm talking you healed a lot you move and I see here you raise your vibration 
this person is not as your vibration great and honest let's see here four of cups what speaks here eight of pentacles somebody here didn't want to put work into this connection or they were busy with other stuff here and i feel here they might even tell you things but there was not honesty with this seven of swords definitely this person might have a lot of air in their chart or the way they communicate might see like they say one thing they do a different thing okay five of cups in here five of cups queen of cups I feel here you said you love this person could be a water sign involved in between you two knight of swords I feel here you said you might fall in love with this person but this person were acting immaturely and I feel here again it's something here around words yeah there were three people involved okay definitely was some hurt Sag whoever you are connected that was not just one person that was you this person and somebody else okay and I feel here the communication was back and forth but it was a broken communication it was like not consistent not substance out there okay let's see here six of swords and I feel here this person could have air or earth in the chart but they they might be in a binding situation of some how or they've been connected with a karmic which was very hard to leave it okay although this person tried to work on a broken could be connection relationship or even marriage but as much as they try to work that much as hurt for them but that's over that's over this person it's kind of they complete a cycle a karmic cycle with whoever they've been okay so they are single whoever you're connected with an earth sign air sign this person it's over with whoever they've been in the past okay they are single you kind of sense this you do sense that as such that they are single let's see here high priestess what speaks to us high priestess nine of pentacles I feel here also you've been focusing on you very much on your abundant energy on your pentacles on your career on your money it's like you've done work on yourself because you choose yourself loves with the lovers here you choose yourself you made the choice to to walk away basically as much as hurt because was a crowd here even the hurt okay you made a choice one more but you will get some messages here from this person you know that this person is around or will be coming around to you so there is something here about passion so whatever they will offer it's it's kind of you're not really interested you know this person could have air could have earth in the chart could be pisces with earth or air but i feel here is not a pisces as much as is an earth or air sign okay queen of wands speak to me queen of wands speak to me three of cups one more card empress justice all right Sage. i feel here the person who is coming towards you with libra energy taurus energy here 
is it shows me here that there is an opportunity for you to get together with this person to grow this, but this time in a more stable commitment or in a more give and take energy, okay? But I will say pay attention to some red flags here because I feel here this person does have feelings for you, but there is energy of still a third party. Even they come and want to make a men's thing or a woman's things, call it the way you want. I feel here they see how abundant and how stable you are right now. That's why it's a it's a thing for this person that they want to come around to you, not because it's like the ultimate love, but it's because they they see in you a very great opportunity to move forward with their life. They might even tell you they not moved on from you. It's very hard for them to move on. So it's it's something here, this person, about their red flags. They bring a lot of red flags. So that's what I do not really agree on their part. And, you know, if you hear from this person, pay attention to what they say, but mostly pay attention to what they do. Okay, let's see. For some of you, you are moving towards somebody else or you might be already with somebody else moved on and this person offers you friendship. It's like this person is like that type of person like they, I will not call them an opportunist. It's like when the opportunity is great, I am there, but there is something for them in regards to that. Okay, let's see here. An advice for you, Sagittarius. An advice for you, Sag. Star. Again, healing. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel in here. One more. Judgment. Another major arcana. Oh my goodness. If you wish for them to come back, they are here. If you wish to heal this connection with whoever, if you wish to, to, to heal something with somebody from your past, they will be healing, okay? If for some of you it was hard for you to move on without healing or without closure, they are coming, okay? So, but I see you a little holding on some things. Okay, so also sometimes this four of pentacles is tells me here somebody here have been selfish just for themselves. Okay, so if you are not that one selfish, is the other person okay? Because I feel here some some of you might will hold on on something. It's like I'm not sure if I give it to you, whatever it is, but. I feel here that there is something here new, okay? For some of you who hold on on somebody, that will be a break free from that. There is something new here. If you really want closure with somebody or talk with somebody, that, that will happen, okay? And it's kind of, if you really want to move forward and to not feel like what's holding on, what could be, and things like that, is better up to talk here, okay? Because after that, there will be movement forward. It's kind of, very things will change for you a lot. So here we are, Sagittarius, here we are. Thank you for watching, loves. I feel here this is very strong message here. And a recap in here, I definitely see here, whoever comes here, they are coming to you because I feel here was not a proper closure due to a third party. That was a crowd in the past. I don't feel you stick with that. I feel here you moved on. Also, this person ended with whoever they've been with because they've been in some sort of binding here. They are moving on. 
they might be live at the distance right now but i feel here also they took quite a lot of time to come forward they are single okay they come towards you but it shows me here that they want to reunite with you they want definitely they come back you do know this person there is somebody here who had made choices in the past but i feel here they don't have right now too much to offer okay although i feel here there is a sage who choose themselves to move forward although there's some red flags so pay attention to those things sage just for you to not get hurt because there is a selfishness energy here i do things because i feel they are right for me and it's like not for me to think of others that just think of me so if it's not you that's the other person but i see the energy of the other person and i feel here that will be something about for you to think and to remove from there so here you are loves thank you for watching being here on the channel and of course love and light to all of you see you next time bye for now